we had technical difficulty. I have to welcome you again because we didn't turn it on for our friends out there, out there who are live streaming. So once again, welcome. We're so glad you're here with us today. Parents, grandparents, friends, once again, we would like to take the opportunity as a school to thank you for your flexibility, your patience, and your understanding during these different times. It takes a lot to do what we do every day anymore. So the patience part is really important. Our children are troopers. It is not easy to learn a song with a mask on. It's kind of hard to be told to sing we can hear you with a mask on and breathing. Not always the easiest, but your children did it. So thank you, and thank you for your understanding about how many people we could have here today. It worked out very well, and once again, we thank you for your cooperation. We've had manageable, a manageable crowd in the morning and a manageable crowd, the, crowd in the afternoon where we can re, be nice and feel safe. I would ask you right now to silence your cell phones. Children do use all the aisles. Children do use all the aisles, so we do need to keep our aisles clear. Parents, I know you want that special moment. I know you want that picture. I understand. Just be aware of others around you, because they want the picture also, OK? So sit back, relax, try to get into that, into that Christmas mode and mood, and we welcome our very beginner band, who's been together since September, only three months, our beginner band. We welcome our intermediate band.
as we welcome our, our advanced span. A little bit about advanced span. Some of these children have been playing together since third grade, and this year we've had band outside. We've had ba band six feet apart. We've had band in the music room with windows open, and we have a band, and they've worked very hard. I'd like to thank the band, but I'd like to thank Mr. D for all his hard work on keeping our music program alive. Thank you, Mr. D. Our advanced band.
um, be before our choir joins us, joining us through live stream is the rest of the school. They're all watching it in their classrooms right now. Let's give them a shout out and a round of applause so they know that we're here with them. So a little bit about choir. The same thing as band. Six feet apart, outside, in the parking lot, in the church, spread out, but they kept foraging on. So we really are proud of our band, of our choir rather, and our choir also gave up a lot of time and some recesses which are really special around here. No one likes to give up a recess, but they gave them up in order to practice. So our choir, and we thank our choir for all their efforts and for Mrs. Carlson for keeping not only our choir together and that music program alive, but also all our music at all our school liturgies this year. Thank you choir and thank you Mrs. Carlson. We're going to invite our audience to sing along with us on the chorus of this one. Easy word, hallelujah.
The next group to join us will be our kindergartners. I think they're about to pop. They are so excited. They did it this morning and did it up front. Our kindergarten. Loving God, we seek you in both the light and the darkness, the silence and the sounds, the fullness of, and the emptiness of this Advent season. Fill our hearts with hope for your coming, love for those who are most in need, and faith in your promises. May this time of preparation help us celebrate the birth of your Son with deep gratitude and abundant joy. We ask this in the name of Jesus, the light of the world, amen.
we welcome our first graders, our first graders.
sing Tom's Santa Claus is coming to town. In curly head doors, the curly and cool, and Claus is coming. We now welcome our second grade, our second graders. Thank you. 
Thank you, second grade. What enthusiasm and what Christmas spirit. Thank you. I ask you now to take a moment to look at your program. On the back page, there is a prayer. One of the blessings of attending a Catholic school is that during this festive time of year, we can celebrate and proclaim the birth of Jesus. That's what our school is about, about teaching the message of Jesus. Our third grade has worked very hard to present to you their version of the greatest story ever told. So I ask you to silence your cell phones once again, to place ourselves in a moment of prayer as our third grade gets ready to tell us that story. Loving God, during this holy season of Christmas, we ask for your blessing on all families. Let Mary's openness to your wondrous ways be an insp inspiration to place all trust in you. Let Joseph's courage provide hope during times of anxiety and uncertainty. Let Jesus' life ignite all families with a spirit of light and love. May the grace that encircles the Holy Family widen to embrace all families. For this we pray, amen. The story of baby Jesus, retold by Mary Kelly. A long, long time ago in a little village called Nazareth, there lived a young couple named Mary and Joseph. They were going to be married. One day, an angel came to Mary. He was dressed in shining white. Don't be afraid, he said. 
God has sent me to tell you that you are going to have a baby. You must call him Jesus. He will be the Son of God. Mary trembled with fear. She knelt before the angel. I am God's servant, she said. I will do as he wishes. Mary went straight to Joseph to tell him the news. He didn't know what to think. That night, he had a dream. An angel appeared to him. Mary's having God's son, said the angel. He will help people everywhere. Soon after, Mary and Joseph were married. I'll take care of you and the baby Joseph promised. Then the rulers of the land passed a new law. Everyone had to go back to the place where they were born to pay a special tax. We must go to Bethlehem, Joseph told Mary. It's many miles away. They loaded up their donkey with food and clothes. Together, they set out on the long journey. They walked over the green hills of Galilee all the way to Bethlehem. They arrived as the sun was setting. Mary felt tired as they crossed the crowded streets. They knocked on door after door, trying to find a place to stay. We're full, said the innkeepers. No room here. At the last inn, the innkeeper shook his head. I have no room left at my inn, he said but you can sleep in the stable if you like. Joseph made Mary a bed out of straw. That night, the baby was born. Mary wrapped him in a swaddle. On the hills outside of Bethlehem, some shepherds were watching their sheep. Go to Bethlehem. There you will find a baby in a manger. He is the Son of God. Above them, the night sky filled with angels. The angels gave thanks to God. The shepherds rushed to the stable. Shepherds told Mary what the, what the angel had said. She looked at her baby in wonder. The shepherds walked through Bethlehem, telling everyone about baby Jesus. Far away in the east, some wise men saw a bright star. They had studied the stars for many years. They knew the star meant something amazing had happened. For many days and nights, they rode across the desert, always following the star, until at last it brought them to the little town of Bethlehem. They gave Mary the presents they had brought with them. Gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Then they knelt down and worshiped baby Jesus. It took Mary and Joseph a long time to reach home again. The journey was hard, but they were filled with hope. They knew that their baby would grow up to do great and wonderful things.
I would like to introduce and bring forward our pastor, Father Joseph Pikarski. Good afternoon to everyone and such a beautiful story. Every year we hear it, but especially when the children perform it for us, the story is uh, that much more beautiful. So we thank our children and always keep the innocence and the beauty of that song in your heart. I want to thank also Mr. Hart and Mrs. Saltis for uh, their leadership in the school and bringing us his beautiful performance to Lisa Papilli, our choir. And as I'm told over and over again, it's the parents, the grandparents, the guardians that bring the children to this beautiful moment. So I thank you and I ask God's blessing upon all of you as a family and as a church and as a nation. So why don't we put ourselves finally in God's presence one last time and ask the Lord to bless us as we continue the journey to Christmas. The goodness you bestow upon us, especially our beautiful children and families and all those who bring about this beautiful pageant, help us to cherish the memory of Christ's birth and to relish the wonderful miracle of Christ being with us. And together we say, glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with May Almighty God bless all of you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Merry Christmas. Once again, parents, grandparents, visitors, thank you for being with us today. And on behalf of the children, faculty, staff, and everyone here at St. John the Beloved School, we wish you and yours a blessed and holy Christmas. Take care, God bless, and we'll see you in the next couple days. Safe journeys. Let's hear for our third graders one more time.